Hello, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Nice, and I'm here to bring you your story today. It is called Mr. Putter and Tabby Drop the Ball. Mr. Putter and Tabby Drop the Ball. And notice, lots of sticky notes. So that's what I'm going to ask you to grab. Can you grab some sticky notes? A pencil? <gasps> you also need your reading buddy. Press pause and get those things and come on back to me. All right, friends, let's take a look at my book. Mr. Putter and Tabby drop the ball. Hey, let's look at this picture here. I see Mr. Putter. That's Mr. Putter. That's Tabby the cat. There's a ball and a mitt. Hmm. What sport do you think they might be playing? What do you think? What sport could they be playing? Hmm. If you look at that ball, that kind of looks like, it doesn't look like a football. And he has a glove here. Could they be playing baseball? Hmm. We'll see. The authors are Cindy Ryland and Arthur Howard. Arthur Howard. They're the people who wrote the book. Let's look inside. And I don't see any information about the book, a little summary about the book inside. I'm going to look on my back cover to look for a summary about the book. Oh, there it is. There it is. I'm going to read this little summary about the book. That tells us what the book is about. It's summertime, and Mr. Putter decides to join the Yankee Doodle Dandies baseball team. He can still catch those fly balls, but will those creaky knees cooperate when it's time to pick up those ground balls? With a little help from Mrs. T. Burry's good dog, Zeke, anything is possible from the outfield. Okay, so that gives us a little information. We know he's going to join a team, a baseball team called the Yankee Doodle Dandies. There's another dog named Zeke in the story, and Mrs. T. Barry's in the story, too. So let's find out what happens. Oh, and there's Tabby, and there's the ball. And there's Tabby, and it looks like the ball's on the ground there. Well, this is our table of contents. Now, it doesn't say table of contents, but that's what this is here. Let's take a look. How many chapters are in this book? How many chapters are in this book? Let's see if we count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five chapters. The first one's called Baseball. The second one is called The Team. The third one is called The Dandies. The fourth one is called Drop the Ball. And the fifth one is called What a Day. And if you notice, there's exclamation points after. That means... It's an exciting chapter, so every ch chapter is exciting in this book. Baseball. Mr. Putty and his fine cat, Tabby, love to nap in the summertime. They love napping in the garden. They love napping on the porch. They love napping in the car. Here they are in the garden. They're in the porch. And they're in the car. Give me a thumbs up if you like napping. I like napping. I wish I could nap all of the time. Okay. Look, they're both in the hammock. Oh, I love a hammock. I wish I had one of them. They're so much fun to sleep in. It seems that we nap all the, all of the time, Mr. Putter said to Tabby one day. Tabby was old, and Tabby was old, and her frisky days were over. Frisky. What does that mean, frisky? Frisky is when you're full of energy. She loved napping. I think we need a sport, said Putter. Said Mr. Putter. Tabby opened one eye. You think they need a sport. So they've been laying around a lot. So they need to do something instead of nap all the time. Right, friends? Don't you think? I think we need baseball, 
said Mr. Putter. Tabby opened the other eye. I wonder where my old mitt is, said Mr. Putter. He headed to the basement. Tabby was wide awake now. <gasps> Look at Tabby's face. Eyes are open. She's looking. She's following Mr. Putter. Now, some friends might keep their things down the basement. You might store some old things down there, and that's what Mr. Putter did. So if you notice, he has some paint cans down here, a lamp, some skates. There's a bike over here. So this is where Mr. Putter stores his things in his house. Where do you store your things in your house? Hmm. I have a room. That's where we store our things. I have a room, a storage room. Some people might store their things in a garage. Chapter two. The team. The team. Mr. Putter found his mitt. Now, all we need is a team, he told Tabby. Mr. Putter called his friend and neighbor, Mrs. Teaberry. So let me, I want you to think, friends. Do you think Mr. Putter can get a lot of friends together for a team? Do you think he can get a lot of friends together for a team? Why do you think that? Hmm. I agree. Good thoughts, friends. Mrs. Teaberry would know about a team. She was very sporty. She even walked the dog a A lot of dogs walking with her good dog, Zeke. Oh, that's Zeke who we learned about in the back cover. And that's Mrs. Teaberry. Of course there's a team, said Mrs. Teaberry. It's called the Yankee Doodle Dandies. Am I too old to play, asked Mr. Putter. Heavens no, said Mrs. Teaberry, handing Zeke a stick, sniffy bone. You will feel young on that team. Hmm, why would Mr. Putter feel young? When we think about Mr. Putter, does he look pretty young to you? Does he look young to you? He look, kind of looks like a grandpa to me. Doesn't have any hair. He's napping all the time. That's kind of what grandpops do. But Miss Teaberry says that he'll be, he'll feel young on the team. I wonder why. I wonder why. Well, my knees feel young on, will my knees feel young on that team? Asked Mr. Putter. You are not too old and neither am I, said Mrs. Teaberry. We'll both play. Now, Mrs. Teary, does she look kind of old or young? She's got gray hair, too. So when we see a character with gray hair, we think maybe they might be a little older. Mr. Putter hung up the phone. I hope I'm not too old, he said to Tabby. Tabby just purred. To her, Mr. Putter was perfect. So when a cat purrs, that means what? What does that mean when the cat purrs? The cat is happy. She's happy. Chapter three, the dandies. Mrs. Teabury and Zeke arrived in their baseball clothes. Let's go, said Mrs. Teabury. They all drove to the baseball field. Look at Zeke. He's got a bat in his mouth. Looks like he's ready for some baseball. The Yankee Doodle Dandies were in the middle of a game. A batter was running for home. All right, friends, I want you to stop and jot. How do you think Mr. Putter feels about playing baseball? How do you think must Mr. Putter feels about playing baseball? So stop and jot. So I want you to write something on your post-it note. How do you think Mr. Putter feels about baseball? Go ahead and pause and do that. All right, friends. I love your great ideas. Everyone waited and waited and waited. 
I'm feeling pretty young, said Mr. Potter. Let's go play, said Mrs. Seabury. She looked at Zeke. Stay, she said, patting Zeke's head. Mr. Potter looked at Zeke. No way, Mr. Potter thought. He petted Tabby and went to play. All right, friends, so I want you to tell me what happened so far in our book. What happened so far in our book? That's why we're going to stop for today. And tomorrow, we're going to finish the rest of our book.